morning, friends. How are you? I hope you're good. I am good. <laughs> I have some Americano. It's very tasty. My goal for the day is to get product photos for a little mini Valentine's shop update that I'd like to put out by the end of the weekend. And when I say like shop update, it's just gonna be a very casual launch of some new things in my shop. It's literally only three things because I decided to do a mini shop update rather than do, like I've got a whole bunch of stuff in the works for a big shop update, but I wanted to be able to put Valentine's stuff out early enough that it can get to people who want it. This is gonna be my mini Valentine's update and then I'll have a big update maybe next month, end of next month, something like that, depending on how life goes. I hope you can't hear the gross sound of Penny and Parker licking their lick mats in the background. We have these rubber lick mats that I press like ripe banana and peanut butter onto and then they just like go hard and lick at it forever, but the sound is pretty, pretty gross. We might have to scratch all of this audio if you can just hear a bunch of slurping and slurping. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I always do my product photos. My bangs are wild lately. They're just like a little too, a little too long. Yeah, I usually use this coffee table in here for product photos because of a couple of reasons. It's just like a nice neutral wood surface, so it makes a good background. And also lots of good natural light comes in from this window as long as they do it early enough in the day, which is why we're rushing to get this done soon because days are short in Alberta, Canada in January. My Christmas tree is still up and I'm dreading taking it down. It's so depressing taking down Christmas decorations. I'm just waiting to have, I'm hoping to do it at some point this weekend. I'm waiting to have like the right kind of energy to just shut my brain off and put a little decor away without being sad. The main reason why it makes me sad is because I love the light from the tree. I love being able to wake up in the morning and turn on the tree and sit in here with the cozy warm light of the Christmas tree and it just feels so empty as soon as that's gone. The rest of the stuff I could take or leave, like I don't get sad about putting that away, it's the light from the tree. Last year, after the tree went down, I was like missed the warm light from the tree so much that I bought this lamp I have over here. But now I feel like I need, which I also use every day, but now I feel like I need something else to replace the tree. So I feel like I'm getting myself into this cycle where every year after Christmas, I'm just gonna get a new lamp and this room will just be filled with lamps. What's wrong with that, I guess? The new stuff is ready to be taken to its photo shoot. I've got two new cards, so this is very on brand for me. You make me all mushy. Oh, I'm very excited about this one. I was trying to come up with a mushroomy Valentine's pun that I hadn't seen before, and um, I haven't seen anyone use this one. Maybe they have, but uh, I think it's real cute. And then also very on brand for me is birds. Happy Valentine's, love bird. I love the colors. This I've kind of gone with a turquoisey teal and pink palette for this Valentine's collection, which I'm really digging in general lately. Which is funny because pink and like turquoise teal are not usually colors that I use very often, but you just gotta go with you gotta go with the artist intuition. And then finally got the silhouette to where I got my first two sticker sheets off the press. And I'm gonna actually take one of them, because I only need one for the photo shoot. Gotta try and get it off without bending it at all. But this is a very old sticky mat, so it's very easy to peel them off. Here's a close-up of the stickers. My only issue with making sticker sheets at home is that I love the paper that I use. I think it's from Online Labels. I think it works really well for most reasons. It's recycled paper, which is 
awesome. The downside of it is that colors don't print super, super vibrant and detailed on it, but I think it's only something that I really notice because I see what the original file looks like and other people don't actually really see that it's less vibrant and I like really jack up the values to kind of overcompensate for that, but okay, anyways. With this other sheet, I'm gonna pre-decorate an envelope to kind of show what it looks like stickers will look like in action. Um, I've never done this before, this idea just popped in my head just now because I was like, well, I want to use some to show what they'll look like. And this will be, this will be perfect. I'm committed to making this happen, so we're gonna work with it. I have a plant light over there that I'll turn on that'll help give us some more natural looking light. friend. I opened some boxes with me. I ordered some business stuff from Amazon because I needed kind of smaller quantities of things and normally I'd get stuff like this from Uline but they have very large minimum quantities of things and I'm not needing that much for these particular things. But I want to open them up with you because there's some exciting things I have to share that kind of go with opening this up and Penny is helping me lick off anything interesting that might be on the boxes. Thanks for helping. Penny's so jumpy, like little sounds that I never would expect to bother her. She'll be like, Wah. I guess that's kind of like me. So like mother, like dog tur. Oh, Parker's here too. They love it when I'm on the floor. <laughs> okay, first fun little purchase. Mini envelopes. have been wanting to make like mini cards and make mini card sets because often I feel like people buy cards for the purpose of just like having note cards on hand for whatever reason and they want to buy like multiple of the same. Like I do that as well. So I thought I could charge a more reasonable price for mini cards than I do for my- I have to charge what I charge for my full size cards because if I charge any less than that, I barely make a profit on them, especially when they're being sold wholesale. But mini cards, I thought, would be a really fun thing to sell, like, in person at markets and stuff. Maybe on my website. Probably both. Haven't really thought it fully through yet, obviously. But, so these um, will basically be, like, half the size of the cards I make right now. So I can make... Parker. <laughs> so I can make twice as many cards. So I'm probably just going to charge, like, roughly half. We'll have to see what the... It'll be like, have to sort all that out still. But very excited about possibilities for this. I might try and do 
a couple Valentine's Day designs to kind of test run them at my market that I'm doing in early February because I wasn't I just just found these and just decided to do it so I didn't have anything for Valentine's in mini card form ready in time for my Valentine's update which just went live on my shop which you would have just seen um, go check it out if you're in need of a Valentine's card for someone <laughs> she's just staring at me like there's nothing in here for you I know it crinkles but they want they want to go outside is what they want but we're gonna go out after this what else have we got oh I'm excited about this I needed new tissue paper and I wanted something a little more exciting than just plain white paper like for wrapping orders and stuff so I got this like champagne gold tissue paper and looking at it now it's not actually 100 sheets of tissue paper I think that's how many this is is not actually that much it seems like a lot but anyways it's beautiful I'm excited to use it it'd be good for wrapping gifts and stuff too and then I have oh ow shipping boxes so i recently put my shop on fair which is a parker your tail is just like in every shot hope you don't mind the butt view that you guys are getting right now i recently put my shop on fair which if you don't know what it is it's kind of it's like a wholesaling platform so you put your store on there and people who are retailers that want to buy things like in bulk to sell in their own shops go on there and make larger purchases from other small businesses so basically how it works is um they can purchase anything that's in my shop for 50 percent of the price but the catch is that they have to spend a minimum amount to basically make it worth my time to pack up the order and stuff but so far i've been very happy with what has resulted from being on there i just had it on my list of things to try out um for forever and i finally got on there and within a couple of weeks I had an order from Kinsfolk shop which is a like a cute little handmade shop that I've been following forever and I it didn't really even click for me that like of course fair is how they source their products but it's just such a cool thing to sign up and then have this completely awesome like unexpected thing happen because basically like I was able to connect with this online shop that I'd been like obsessed with for years and had ordered stuff from before and um, so it's just super cool to like for fair to be the outlet that allowed me to be be part of it so that was very cool and then within another couple weeks after that I got another wholesale order so the downside of wholesaling of course is that you're not able to make nearly as much profit as you do if you were to sell those items individually but the pros are that this is where it really benefits me right now is that while yeah I'm not making it as much profit as I would if I was selling it on my own it's just another way to get my stuff out into the world and I'm still making profit it's just not as much as if I had sold all those items individually it's going to be one of those things I think that I just continually assess if it's still worth it right now it's been I feel very good about it even though just like all things like this like Etsy is kind of the same thing they take a pretty significant cut especially on your very first order they take another additional ten dollars off of the their rate is that they take 15 percent of your commission they take 15 percent commission off your order and then your first order from each brand they take an additional ten dollars so far i found it's still worth it i'll keep you posted if my feelings change about fair but so far it's been really good so anyways needed boxes that would fit those orders because I kind of had to figure it out as I went that it's easy to think, oh, my cards are flat, so they're not going to take up that much space. When I had an order that had, I think, like 70 cards in it or something, and I actually needed quite a big box to fit all of them in there. So I had to scramble around and find something that would work. I ended up having to go to Canada Post and find a box. So I just bought boxes that will fit kind of two main order sizes to have on hand. So these ones... I angled the camera down because I figure you're probably more interested in watching Penny than me anyways. These ones are going to be for my like medium, well, for my smaller sized wholesale orders. So they're the right size to fit like a stack of things like cards. Let me just assemble it all and then show you. Assembling boxes like this takes me back to when Kelsey and I first started dating. He was working at Panago Pizza and he was a delivery driver. And I would often just go hang out with him because their work is like, it's like they get paid based on how many pizzas they take. And so like, it doesn't really matter what you're doing with your downtime in between. So I would come hang out with him, but they did expect the drivers to like fold pizza boxes. So I'd hang out with him and we would like fold 
hundreds of pizza boxes so whenever I felt stuff like this I just flash back to being in the back of Panago with with Kelsey in our early honeymoon relationship days. <laughs> this box is the perfect size for as long as that's not too many items it'll fit my greeting cards postcards bookmarks oh i hope it will fit bookmarks i didn't double check that it's long enough i think it would be <laughs> it's like just barely big enough to fit a bookmark that's good so these ones will be for that got one folded and ready to go and then oh this second box is just penny you're totally taking up the whole shot right now can you come over here come over here okay girl can you sit no oh, come here I love you guys, but you're not helping. <laughs> this box is just filled with boxes of the bigger size. So this is for um, if I get an order that has enough things that it needs like two stacks of items or if any prints are included in the order. Except, hmm. I thought that I ordered both, either both as brown or both as white, but I must have ordered one brown, one white. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter if they don't match because I think there's only like 20 of these and 30 of those or something. So hopefully I'll go through them relatively quickly and it doesn't, it doesn't matter that much, even though I feel like it does. I feel like everything has to match. This pizza box filled this one real quick. And you got, you got your snoop juice on it. Ta-da! So I think it's about the same thickness as the other one. Yep. But it's wide enough to fit prints and two piles of, of things if needed. Okay. Do you want to go outside? We're going to go outside. It finally snowed last <laughs> night. Oh, really? We got one snow back in October but it melted and then it hasn't been snowy since and then now we've got a layer of snow. Maybe it'll stick this time. Let's put on some lip chaps. I bet your lips are dry too, especially if you live in Alberta like me. One of my goals right now for the studio is to stock up on all of the products that I have available right now. There's a few things that I've been kind of doing in like an on-demand sort of system, like my greeting cards. I've just been printing as I need them, but now that I am doing wholesale orders, I'm finding that that is a lot more challenging because it forces me to have to print and cut and prepare a whole bunch of cards in a very short period of time. And I think my life would be a lot easier if I could just make the stock numbers that I have on my website actually accurate and then people can only order what I currently have available and then I'll do like restocks on my own time rather than like on a time crunch trying to get an order out. So basically I need to do big restocks of all of my greeting cards and all of my bookmarks and all of my stickers. So that is something I'm going to be working on in the next little while. The hard part about running an art business while also working full time is finding the right balance between pushing myself to use my free time to work towards my goals and taking actual downtime for myself because I basically have to decide how much downtime I need to be able to get by and maintain my mental health while still marching forward and doing as much art business stuff as I possibly can because 
I can only keep moving forward if I keep working, but if I burn myself out, then I'm stuck. So I'm gonna spend a little bit more time in here working on stuff, and then I'm just gonna sit on the couch and play Stardew Valley, because I've recently gotten back into it again. I had a farm that I had got into about like year two, but I still have lots of like story related stuff I haven't done yet. I've like befriended like best friends with half the town and I have an insane amount of money, but there's still a bunch of like quest related stuff I need to do in this game. So I'm gonna play that and then making soup and having some friends over for dinner. Thank mm -hmm. you. 